Flies can be a real nuisance, but to sheep, flies can be even more than a nuisance. They can be deadly. To prevent the suffering and losses that can occur because of flies and a condition called fly strike, tails of lambs in commercial flocks are usually docked or shortened at an early age. Fly strike causes serious suffering in lambs. It's a painful condition caused by blowflies that are drawn to the sheep by fecal soiling around the tail area. Flies lay their eggs in the soiled wool on the sheep's hindquarters. The maggots from these eggs then burrow into the sheep's skin, poisoning the animal with ammonia they secrete. As the sheep's skin becomes irritated, additional flies are attracted to the site, creating a vicious cycle. A sheep can die painfully within three to six days after onset of fly strike. For medical and humane reasons, the tails of young sheep are often docked to reduce fecal soiling and the resulting fly strike. Lamb's tails may be docked by placing an elastorator band around them, using a docking iron or hot blade, or with a combination of band placement and the use of a bloodless castration device. The American Veterinary Medical Association, or AVMA, recommends that lamb's tails be docked no shorter than the level of the distal end of the caudal tail fold. If the lamb is a female, it should be long enough to cover the vulva. Docking should be done at the earliest age practicable. Because tail docking causes pain and discomfort, the AVMA also encourages the use of procedures and practices that reduce or eliminate pain, including but not limited to the administration of local anesthetic. Proper, low-stress handling, the use of appropriate and well-maintained equipment, and well-trained personnel are essential to ensure that the procedure causes minimal pain and stress to the animal. When performed at an appropriate age by well-trained personnel, docking of lamb's tails is safe and nearly free of complications. Unfortunately, docking of lamb's tails is sometimes taken to the extreme. Ultra-short tail docking is often performed only for cosmetic reasons. Because a shorter tail makes the sheep's hindquarters look fuller, extreme docks are sometimes performed by those who play to the preferences of judges when showing their prized sheep. This can backfire, however, because ultra-short docking of lamb's tails is associated with increased incidence of rectal prolapse. Rectal prolapse occurs when the tissue that lines the rectum falls down into and protrudes through the anal opening. It's a painful and potentially life-threatening condition. Because of its consequences, the AVMA finds ultra-short docking of lamb's tails unacceptable for lamb welfare. The AVMA believes that the development of alternatives to the docking of lamb's tails would benefit both the sheep industry and lamb welfare. Genetic selection for short tails, for example, shows great promise. Attention to internal parasite control may reduce diarrhea and associated fecal soiling of the tail area and thereby reduce fly strike risk. While increased use of insecticides for fly control comes with its own problems, frequent shearing around the tail area may be of help for small flocks. AVMA has stated that ultra-short docking of tails is unacceptable and should not be performed. And while it understands that docking of lamb's tails may be necessary to avoid suffering and death caused by fly strike, the procedure should be performed at an early age with consideration given to administration of local anesthetics to manage pain and distress. Only individuals who are well trained should dock lamb's tails. For more information on lamb tail docking, visit avma.org. <laughs>